Hello and welcome to a detailed tutorial for the completion of the Sea of Thieves Skeleton Throne event. This is a limited time event and you will have approximately two weeks to complete this from the release date. For our first location, we are going to be at Devil's Ridge. I give a little turn to familiarize yourself with the location. The first throne is going to be situated on top of that ridge there. We'll take a look at the map and you will see that the throne itself is located under the primary ridge at Devil's Ridge. Now, for your cannon angle, to confirm, you're going to want to climb inside the cannon and you'll see I'm a little too far to the left, so I'm going to move the cannon slightly to the right to give myself a solid backstop. as you see, I landed directly in front of the throne, take a seat, and claim your first prize. For our next location, we are going to be on the southeast corner of Thieves Haven. You see the throne situated directly in front of me here. Here we'll take a short look at the map so you can familiarize yourself with the location. Here, I'm showing the approach angle that we will use for Thieves' Haven. This approach is very important as the rocks to the left can damage and stop your ship, especially in a galleon which tends to run much deeper in the water. Our goal here is to allow the bowsprit to hang over these rocks and allow you to drop down onto them. In a galleon, the bowsprit is much higher off the water and will allow you to drop onto the throne platform itself. The lower sloop, however, is going to require you to jump off onto the rock and climb your way around. Don't be too concerned if your bowsprit clips the rock as mine did here, as it will cause minimal damage, if any at all. Take a seat and claim your reward. Next in line is going to be Mermaid's Hideaway. I'll give a small turn so you can get familiar with the exact location. The throne is situated on top of the rock right here to the left or port side of the ship. You can see the throne there sitting under the palm trees. We'll head down to the bottom of the ship and take a look at the map. As you can see, we're on the southeast corner of Mermaid's Hideaway, just like we were at Thieves' Haven. Now, one big benefit to Mermaid's Hideaway is it allows you to cheat a little bit and use one of the stationary cannons on the island itself instead of trying to fire yourself from the boat as it bobs on the waves. So we're going to go up the hill, take a left, and head across the bridge. There you will see the stationary cannon. Do not replicate my first cannon angle here as it is absolutely too far to the left. Instead, try to utilize those palm trees as a backstop as you see me doing here. This will stop your flight and allow you to hop right over into the sea to find your prize. Next on the list is going to be Hidden Spring Keep. Throne is situated on top of the watchtower at the very top of the fort. It is important to pay attention to the location of my ship as we will be utilizing the stationary cannon in the cannon tower directly in front of me here. I've already preset the angle on this one as I have with all of my clips here. Take your shot after a few attempts. You should have it lined up and you will land right in front of the throne. Go ahead and take your seat and claim your accommodation. Now, we're, we've moved on to block N as in Nora 10. N10 on the map. This is an uncharted island, and it may be a little bit difficult to find, so I'm going to step down and show you the map. Here you see, confirming the dead center of N10. Now, this is going to be the one beneath the wave, so you are going to have to take a little swim for it. When I get to the cave, I will show you the location that I am diving down to. 
key landmarks to look for while underwater are going to be the gaps in the reef as well as the shipwreck. As you can see, the stern of a shipwreck right there. Part of the stern of the shipwreck does protrude out of the water, making this a little bit easier to locate. There is the cave on the left side of the screen. Return to the surface for air. This is a long swim, so make sure your lungs are full. There's the boat, and down we go. While this is a rather long swim, you should only just begin to start making the drowning sounds as you reach the end of the swim. Gonna be a little bit of a right hand turn here. Don't get yourself lost. And we begin to surface. You're going to turn right around and go right back across. You're going to turn around and go right back across. Boy, that water is loud. Back across where you were. And there's the throne. Take a seat and claim your prize. Next in line, we're moving on to the first of the two-man crews, which is Cannon Cove, as you were able to see its location The there. island is a big rock. <laughs> the throne itself is located on top of the biggest rock in the middle of the island in the hole. As for the shot on Cannon Cove, you're going to climb in and fire yourself onto the large central rock on Cannon Cove. Nice. The throne itself is located just inside the cavern opening. Yeah. Nice job. Next, we're going to Smuggler's Bay, or appropriately the northeastern corner of Smuggler's Bay, where this throne is situated just offshore from the main island. As you see here, we are located at the D1, D2 dividing line. Hell again. As for the shot at Smuggler's Bay, it's not a very difficult one other than the rise and fall of the waves. Take your time and line up your shot accordingly. Next in line is Shipwreck Bay. I'll give you a little surrounding here. The throne is situated just over there off of the starboard side of the ship. We'll go to the map and you will see that we are on the northeast corner of Shipwreck Bay's main island. To make your way to the throne at Shipwreck Bay, instead of using the cannon, we're going to utilize a little bit of parkour. We're going to go up this ramp onto the flat platform and climb this mast up to the rock ledge. Use the makeshift bridge to make your way across and stop at the top. Do not try to jump without using your sword lunge. Your goal with your sword lunge is to aim for the armrest and backrest of the throne and you will land beautifully and stop yourself prior to going off the edge. And now we'll move on to what is in my opinion the second hardest shot in this series. The throne is located near the top on the southeast corner of Plunder Outpost as you will see here. Take your time with this one. It's going to be a little bit on the tricky side, but have no worries, it is doable. When you take your shot at Plunder Outpost, make sure that both you, as well as your partner, are paying close attention to at which point in the process of the that the shot is being taken, as this will be important information for each other. <laughs> for our tenth and final throne, we are here at Smuggler's Bay. I'll do a small turn so you can familiarize yourself with the proper orientation. The throne is situated at the top of the rock face there, just under the dead tree. A short look at the map will give you an idea of exactly where we are on the map itself. Now as for the shot at Marauder's Arch, this is going to be rather tricky, so take your time, pay attention to your cannon angles, pay attention to the rise and fall of the waves. Stick with it and eventually you too will land in the throne and claim your 10th and final prize. Visit d3hell.com for all of your Sea of Thieves boosting needs.